The G20 Summit of World Leaders will officially kick off in the Japanese city of Osaka for two days starting Friday. Nearly 40 representatives, not only from member states but also international organizations, are set to take part in this year's gathering. Our Kim mo tells us more about the global event of high significance. One of the largest and most important gatherings of world leaders, the Group of 20 Leaders Summit, will be held in Japan for the first time ever for two days beginning Friday. Formerly known as the Summit on Financial Markets and the World Economy, the G20 comprises of 20 countries that take up more than 80 percent of the global GDP. At this year's event, some 38 representatives from not only G20 member states, but also international organizations are set to take part. The meeting comes just seven months after the gathering held in Buenos Aires last year. There will be four major agendas up for discussion, such as the global economy, innovation, inequalities and environmental issues, including climate change and plastic waste. On the sidelines of the G20, world leaders are expected to engage in separate discussions to address their own national interests. Given the current geopolitical climate, the meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese leader Xi Jinping set for Friday will be of particular interest amid escalating trade tensions between the world's two largest economies. For South Korea, the focus will zoom in on President Moon Jae-in's encounter with his Chinese, Russian and American counterparts. The South Korean leader is expected to discuss ways to enhance cooperation with the three regional powers in supporting his peace drive on the Korean Peninsula. Later on Saturday, President Moon will speak with President Trump in Seoul, where the American leader will make a two-day pit stop before returning home to Washington. Host nation Japan, meanwhile, will hold separate meetings with each of the G20 member states on the sidelines of the summit, with the exception of South Korea. This may be the fallout of Tokyo's rejection of Seoul's proposal to establish a joint fund to compensate Korean victims of forced labor during Japan's colonial occupation of Korea. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.